Imagine you're visiting a doctor for the first time. Before the doctor prescribes medication, they'll want to understand your medical history, allergies, and current symptoms. Data profiling is like that initial examination for your data. In this video, we'll explore data profiling on what, why, and how is it used to ensure data quality. All right, what is data profiling? It is the process of examining data to understand its characteristics. It involves collecting statistics and summaries about the data to gain insights into how the data is structured, what type of content it contains, and how the data sets are related, etc. Okay, the definition is pretty cool, but why should I even try to understand the data characteristics in the first place? Imagine you are a retail store manager. You have a wealth of customer data, purchase history, demographics, and more. If you don't understand the characteristics of this data, you might miss out on valuable insights and opportunities. Let's see how with a real world scenario. You want to launch a new product line targeting young adults. Without understanding the data characteristics, you can end up market the product to the wrong demographic. That means targeting the wrong customer segments can lead to wasted resources. By examining and analyzing customer demographics, you can discover the right portion of your customers who are originally young adults. This allows you to tailor your marketing efforts effectively and increase sales. Similarly, other potential consequences of not understanding the data characteristics in a retail context are, say, inventory management issues. You'll not be able to accurately forecast demand, which can lead to either stockouts or excess inventory. Missed opportunities. Failing to understand trends or customer preferences that could drive sales. In a sense, Understanding the data characteristics is like having a map to navigate your retail business. Without a map, you might get lost, waste resources, and miss out on opportunities. With a map, you can chart a clear path to success. So far, we have highlighted the business impact without profiling. Let's shift our gaze toward how data profiling helps data quality. Data profiling is like a detective investigating a crime scene. It helps uncover clues about your data, such as anomalies, detecting outliers that may indicate errors or inconsistencies. For example, a customer's age listed as 200 years old would be an anomaly. Missing data, identifying missing values that can compromise analysis. Example, Missing customer addresses can prevent you from targeting marketing campaigns effectively. Inconsistent formats. Identifying inconsistencies in data formats, like varying date formats, which can lead to errors in calculations. Okay, you have identified the potential anomalies. What next? These insights further help you create effective data quality rules implement data validation, and cleanse your data. To elaborate, based on profiling insights, you can define rules for data formats, ranges, and relationships. Example, create a rule that limits the age range to a reasonable minimum and maximum of 0 to 120. Make the address field mandatory for new customer records. Standardize the date format to a consistent format. Use these rules to validate data and prevent future errors. Identify and correct issues by enforcing these rules. So without data profiling, it's tough to spot patterns in your data, which makes it hard to define and enforce the rules to keep your data clean. Beyond its direct impact on business and data quality, data profiling offers several other valuable use cases like data governance, data integration, or data analysis, etc. 
in this episode, we have focused on its role in data quality. If you are curious to learn more about its applications, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to create a dedicated video on those topics. Okay. Now, how to profile the data? There are several ways to do it. You can profile the data using Excel by calculating basic statistics or summaries for specific columns or tables. Alternatively, SQL functions allow you to profile directly within databases. Additionally, automated data quality tools can be used for more comprehensive data discovery and data quality assessment. In our next video, we'll drive into how to profile data using Excel. Until then, bye. Subscribe now to get notified when the next video drops.